you have listened to the track of our today's guest, Editia Seputera. He is talented pixel artist. English is not his native language, but it's not a problem, okay? We have prepared interview earlier, so I will read the questions to this interview and my co-host Artyom will read the answers. I think it would be interesting, okay? Let's go! Please position yourself. Your real name, for example. Tell something about you and your art. What country do you live? My real name is Aditya Saputra. My pseudonym is Adit Bujbunen Albusi. You can easily find me with this keyword in Google search. I'm an illustrator, comic artist, pixel artist and electronic music producer. I live in Indonesia. What kind of education do you have and what art do you draw? I graduated from art college majoring in interior design. But after graduating, I worked as an illustrator and graphic designer from some local novel books covers. Why did you choose digital art? The reason is simple. I no longer need to buy paper and drawing equipment, which are quite expensive. Did you try to draw with paints? Yes, but it's been a long time. Can you say something about pixel art in general? How do you feel it? Pixel art is style of drawing. I choose this style from several reasons. One of them is childhood nostalgia. I want to emulate my childhood happiness into my work. What programs do you use? Mediban Pine Pro and Pixel Studio. What inspires you and motivates maybe several artists? The graphics of the 18-19 years PC DOS games I played as child really inspired me to draw in this style. The person who really inspires me is Jordan Mincher, the creators of the legendary game Prince of Persia. Do you live on selling your own artworks or you have a full-time job? I'm a comic artist and sell my own comics. Some I share digitally on my Instagram account. I'm also a freelance illustrator and electronic music producer. What books, music, movies do you like? And why? The books I like are usually related to the things I do, such as books on art, pop culture, comic books, music, cyberpunk and biographies. I like IGM, IBM, metal music, harsh noise and experimental electronic music, also some pop music, oldies, etc. I enjoy B-movies, cyberpunk themes, superheroes, documentaries about music, animation, etc. Because of all them are very helpful in providing inspiration to my work and of course to enjoy it while relaxing. Do you play computer games? What are they? Yes, old school games, especially PC DOS games, like Last Ninja, uh, Prince of Persia, Lucas Arts games, uh, Silmaris games, and modern uh, pixel art games uh, like Oval Boy. Who did you want to be as a child? The man droid guy from Illuminators movie, Doctor from Centurions, Robocop, and Terminator. What platforms do you use for selling art? Nov Origin, Infinity Showroom, Mintable, T Public, and some local Indonesia art platforms. All social media links, please. With galleries, art station, all links that you can provide which describe you and your art. My Twitter is twitter.com slash b u j u b u n e n g. What YouTube channels do you watch for tutorials or other platforms you use for learning? Instagram.com slash my.art.tutorials and Instagram.com slash artcycle. Do you have paid courses for beginners or you can help with them for free, of course limiting the time? No, I don't have. But there is a possibility that in the future I will create a YouTube channel that contains tutorials. I'm working on the material from now on. Your vision of cryptocurrency and crypto art in the future. Your opinion. 
I see quite a lot of hope in this crypto art scene, such as appreciation in the form of financial gain, also more important in the economic cycle that can support the lives of artists. The habit of collecting works of art in physical form can be applied in the digital world. And the good thing is a royalty system. The higher the collector sells artwork purchased from artists, the higher royalties artists will get. Your favorite color in hex, please. Hash FF55 FF. Tell please a short story of crypto punks, your region. What are they and why they are so trendy? I don't know much about crypto punks. But if what you mean is a large number of pixel style avatar images realized massively by a team called Lover Labs that was booming in the early days of the crypto art movement, I think this is related to a campaign or early socialization of how digital things can be unique, valuable and collectible which in the end becomes a trendy thing because it has inspired a lot and continues to be talked about. Thank you for watching guys. This interview was with Aditya Saputra. All links for social media and other stuff you can find under this video in the description. Bye.